guys, hello and welcome to another episode of A Tool on Tools. Let's go ahead and get started with the M18 oscillating saw. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want is a fully charged M18 battery. I've got here a 2 amp hour battery. You can use the 5 amp hour or larger batteries because these do chew through batteries pretty quickly. But I find the 2 amp hour is, is perfect because it's a nice balance in the tool. Next, we're going to go ahead and need a blade that's appropriate to the material we're cutting. In this case, we've got wood because our example is plywood. And then we've got the tool itself. To go ahead and mount the blade, you're going to go ahead and release the clamp on the back. And you might need a flathead to do so, but you're also going to release, remove this or uns unscrew this dial a little bit. So you can go ahead and get the blade completely in place. That is the wrong side, right there, like that. Go ahead and hold that down with your thumb a little bit. And we're going to spin that dial down, but we're not going to tighten it the whole way. We're going to go down just a little bit finger tightness, about there, and then the clamp is going to go ahead and bring it the rest of the way. And it is on there nice and tight. We'll go ahead and put our battery in. And our clip, or our, our unbutton, is this clip right here. And we also have a speed selector on the side, which depending on the material, you might want to go a different, a, a different speed, but I usually find max speed is the way you want to go. All right, guys, so before we start cutting, we want to make sure that we're wearing our proper PPE. That's going to include gloves and eye protection. And you can also wear hearing protection if you find it's loud as well. So one of the advantages to using this saw is because it allows us to do a very specific kind of cut. It's either, it's either called a jab cut or a plunge cut. But in cases like this, without access to an edge, we can go ahead and cut our box right into the middle of this piece of plywood. To start, you're going to want to start your cuts as plunging in as level as possible and also ensuring that you start at the middle of your cut because as you start it's going to want to walk one way or the other on you so by doing it this way you ensure that you're not shooting past what's going to be protected by the cover in this case. Alright, so now that you have your hole, the first thing you want to do is try to do a quick little dry fit. Make sure it fits nice and snugly in there and trim out any excess pieces to make sure that it fits perfectly before you move on. So also on top of using cutting tools, we also have this sanding block with attachable Velcro sanding pad. To do this, we actually are going to go ahead and take this blade back off. And instead this time, rather than taking it only partially off, we're going to take the, knob, the center knob completely out because it's got to thread through the center of our sanding block here. So we'll take that out, put the blade off. Go ahead and rack this guy on using the same guiding holes as we used on the cutting tool. Go ahead and thread that guy on. Again, not going all, all the way tight or using a screwdriver or anything, but we're just going to go finger tight and go ahead and clamp it back down. And you can see that is on there nice and solid. And then we've got what comes with the tool is various grits of sandpaper. And of course, you use the appropriate sanding paper for whatever use you're using it for, and like so. All right, guys, and that concludes today's episode of Tool on Tools. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.